All right. So my dear fellow listeners of yours, I just want to share with you and remind you, you know, how important it is for us to recognize our own self-worth. Obviously, we all have uniqueness. We all have strengths and capabilities and so forth, right? And only us, you know, will be able to determine our self-worth, nobody else. And so I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm capable of doing, right? And so do you. And so once we recognize that, nobody can take advantage of us, right? Nobody can fool us. If we, you know, you know, willingly want to lend our time and talent and gifts, you know, to any, anybody else, whether that be an individual or whether that be an organization, that's totally up to us and that's totally fine. But once we recognize our self-worth, nobody can put us down. They can try, but it will mean absolutely nothing, right? Um, but if you don't recognize what your self-worth is, if you don't understand what it is, then that can be a dangerous thing. And the bottom line is, once people start to recognize your self-worth, and once they start to accept the fact that you have it, um, they will come to you, they'll reach out to you, um, and then you will be able to have some control in terms of decision-making, in terms of um, you know, accepting you know, certain initiative, um, you know, um, things that comes along the way you will make the final say. So what this means is you will first have to understand what it is, your own, your own potential that is, right? Once you understand and recognize your own potential, your own self-worth, that's the first step in terms of um, taking control of your own life, so to speak, right? So when people reach out to you, you can bargain, so to speak, right? But the thing is, once people start to recognize it. And it only happens when you start to recognize it, right? Once people start to recognize your strength, your capabilities and all of that, you will be in a position where you no longer have to run after people for projects and jobs and all of these types of things, right? They will eventually come to you, but they wouldn't come to you if you don't understand what it is. So once you understand your self-worth, once you understand your capabilities, once you understand your strengths, and once you put some value in it, right, that will be of benefit to you. It means that people would take advantage of you. And again, this is different than you willingly and wanting to lend your time, talent, and whatever else you have to an individual or an organization. But once you have it and recognize it, and once people start to see and recognize it, you no longer have to knock on any doors, right? Because people will be reaching out to you because they will see. The key point is to make sure that you keep, you be consistent. The key point is for you to set, your, set yourself apart from everybody else in a sense that you wanna make sure you do things ethically. You want to make sure that you do things professionally, um, regardless of what the cost is, right? You do not want to do any shortcut, anything of that kind, because in the long run, it wouldn't take you anywhere. Um, and basically, you are basically damaging any kind of uh, opportunities that uh, may be in the lineup for you. So I hope that you find this video fruitful. Again, this video is just a reminder to kind of um, let you know that understanding your self-worth is so important, right? Because if you don't understand your self-worth, right? How can people actually understand it for you, right? Because once you understand, you know what you're worth, you know your capabilities, it is irrelevant as to what people say to you. It is irrelevant what people put forward to you, right? Um, because you will have the last say in terms of any final decision when it comes to anything. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. My name is Narayan Datsukram. Wishing you a great today and even better tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon.